Hey YouTube, how's it going there? Anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about these blow torches. That's what they're called, blow torches or uh, blow lamps. Uh, I've only ha got three of them, which probably is more than many people have, but Everybody knows somebody that's got one of these hanging in their garage somewhere, you know, using up space, never being used because people are scared to death of these things. Well, people are afraid of those things for good reason. They blow up. Actually, they don't blow up. Maybe they blow up. But the biggest thing that can happen to them is gasoline can come out of them because they leak on occasion and catch you on fire. Well, you don't want to be caught on fire. Nobody wants to be caught on fire. The best thing you can do is to never ever use one of these. Um, they have got seals in them and that sort of thing and and they dry up and you know, unless you rebuild it, uh, I don't recommend you ever try to light one of these things. Uh, I've messed around with all three of these. I believe this one's a Butler 200. This one's definitely a Butler 100. It's the one I'm using. Um, this one is missing some things that would make it work, and I'm never going to mess with it, I don't think. It's going to end up in my garage as a wall hanger. This one is a Clayton and uh, something in Clayton. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It is what it is. It's just a just an old blowtorch. But they're beautiful things, and they shine up nice if you if you feel like shining them up. Anyway, this is how you light them. Oh, uh, one other thing. Many of these are designed for gasoline. Many are designed for kerosene. And some will run both with some slight changes. Uh, this one is a gasoline only. It's a butler. It says right on there, uh, warning, use clean gasoline only, unleaded. Um, I believe this one is kerosene one. And I'm not sure about that one. Anyway, what you do, scary as it is, you fill this little tub here with gasoline and you light it. What that does is it preheats the, the jet area, making the gasoline a little more volatile. Gets it up to that uh, flash point better. The number one thing that goes wrong with these, supposedly, is called the Viagra effect. Believe it or not, somebody came up with that, but... After you've pumped these uh, and you're operating it, you'll notice that this thing will start to rise on its own. That means there's a valve down there. It's like a one-way valve. It's leaking back and it's pushing the pressure back up here. A lot of times this will get up to the top. People won't notice it and they're using it. And it'll start pissing out gasoline while it's running. That's not good. You don't want, you don't want gasoline or even the kerosene ones all over your hands, you know, while you're holding a flame. So that's bad. That's why they have a bad rap. People have been burned real bad. But uh, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to fire this sucker up for you now. Here we go. Okay, the first thing you want to do is pump this. Well, make sure there's no pressure on it. You shouldn't store it with pressure on if you can. You can slack this off here and it'll let the pressure off. After it's cooled down, don't do that after you've used it. Uh, wait till everything cools right down to nothing. You can slack this off, it'll let the pressure out, and then put it back. When you're ready to use it again, you pump this 40 times. So, one, two, three. I lost count, but that's about 40. Now you're going to put some gasoline in here. I have some gas in the other one, so I'm just going to pour it into the through the funnel here. So you get a good bit of gasoline in there, maybe three quarters of the way full. Get rid of any gasoline around you, get rid of anything flammable if you've gotten gasoline on your hands while you're filling that. Clean it up. <laughs> dry it all off. If it's a hot, hot day, don't even run these. Like if it's midsummer, don't even run that if you can avoid it. So once you've made sure there's no gasoline around you at all, you can light this bath. If it's that simple. Just let that burn. 
keep an eye on it and make sure that the flame is, if the wind is taking it away, keep the flame right there underneath this part. Be very careful not to spill this or shake it in a way that this gasoline pours on you. It's not a lot of gas, but it's enough to burn the hell out of you. And just let that sit there for a while. Almost. It's pretty cold out today, so that's why it's taking take a little extra time. Probably heat up a little better if you weren't outdoors and the wind's blowing it around all the time. It's about ready to go, I think. Anyway, so there you go, how to fire up a gasoline blowtorch and heat some steel. So, gets it pretty hot. Uh, I think if it was in a, in a proper forge, you know, something along the lines of a propane type of forge, it probably would get very hot. Uh, I don't seem to recall that propane, like a propane blowtorch gets steel that hot that quickly on its own with no oxygen. So there you have it, the Butler 100 gasoline blowtorch. Yeah, I, we got to make a forge out of that. <laughs>